Hey, and welcome to already the fifth walkthrough of building our new house. Since last time, things have changed quite a bit. All floors have now been poured and the garage door has been put in. Our central air ventilation system should be operational soon. And after we move in, I can finally get started with all the custom LED lighting. Our installer has started putting in the components needed for the air water heat pump system for both the in-floor heating and warm water. No gas connection going to this house. Since all the floors were poured and the walls were plastered, the house has become very damp. So we're running dehumidifiers 24 hours a day to try and dry everything even while it's winter time. A 9 kilowatt electric heater is providing the warmth needed to evaporate the moisture out of all the materials. This tiny little heater is actually enough to heat up the whole house because of all the insulation that's gone into the walls and the roof. To improve moisture absorption even more, we're using several fans to keep a constant airflow throughout the house. All floor tiles have arrived and are ready to be tiled. Work on this should start shortly. As you've seen in other videos, most network cables have been pulled and we'll soon start with terminating the ones we need first. Work has also started on the electrical systems. The hallway was last to be plastered, so there's still a lot of wet spots in the walls. Upstairs, we're also running a dehumidifier. Our new front door and Sandra. air ducts that were previously visible are now nicely tucked away. Most of the guts that's inside of the wall and ceilings is now starting to become invisible. Mm. 
The bathroom is also ready for tiling. We can wait to see how it turns out. This is where our bathroom mirror and vanity will go. In the attic, there's also an LED driver location. And we've installed pipes in the wall for an air conditioning system, which will be our main source of heating and cooling in the attic. Sandra is working hard on sanding all the beams to remove water damage that occurred during building. And last, some drone footage, shot recently to give you a great look at how the outside of the house looks. So, that's it again for this time. Hope you enjoyed watching. Comments and questions are always welcome. And if you want to see how everything turns out, be sure to subscribe. <laughs>